today we're gonna take a look at the alley bag, the alley shoulder bag. Um, the silhouette was first introduced um, the end of last year, but um, I think it's still quite relevant uh, right now. Um, it's a very simple and minimalistic silhouette. So maybe we'll first take a look at the form first. Um, it's a very simple rectangular silhouette. Uh, kind of reminds me of the um, the dinky bag that we have and also the Cassie bag that we have. So as you can see, I think the key element in the silhouette is the buckle. So we do have this buckle that's very, uh, feels very substantial. It's mostly uh, a lot of hardware and then finish off with um, pebble leather in the center with the horse and carriage logo and it's a push in uh, mechanism as you can see here and you can hear the click so it's actually quite quite secure once you click it in um, it will take a little bit of force to open it up um, comes in two sizes this is the smaller size and then we do have the larger size so just kind of a quick side by side comparison a bit taller and a little bit wider for the large one. Um, another kind of key feature on this bag is the strap. Um, so unlike the uh, Cassie and the Dinky bag, that they all have um, the removable doglish type of strap. Uh, the strap on our alley bag is not removable, so it basically is a leather strap going through two hardware loops that you can see here. And then uh, you can adjust the length. You have the adjustable uh, buckle here for you to make it shorter or longer for your liking, but then you can also instantly pull the middle of the strap to make it a shorter length uh, handbag. Okay, so the strap it's actually you it is actually removable. Uh, it's just not instantly. So, but if you need to remove it for cleaning purposes, you just need to open this up and then pull it on one end and the strap will remove then you can clean and take care of your strap uh, regularly but that's another key feature of this bag um, so it's more secure compared to the doglish type of crossbody um, i think sometimes the doglish depending on the hardware if you hit certain point it will come loose so with the, this type of design you don't have to worry about it uh, on the exterior of the bag there is no feet on the bottom um, but the front and the back panel, um, as you can see on the side, kind of serve as feet to elevate the, the bottom panel of the bag. Okay. Um, and take a look at the inside. One of my favorite part about this bag is that it's lined with glove tans. So um, you can see here, instead of lining with polyester or nylon, or canvas, this is lined with uh, glove tan leather, so it makes the cleaning and the maintenance a lot easier. Um, I think it also really elevate the overall uh, design of the bag. Um, I think, and then on the inside, you do have the uh, the typical car case pocket, and you have the extra uh, from compartment for organization. As you can see, the silhouette. This is made with pebble leather, so it's very soft and gets softer over time. Even though it's quite structured, um, the way the bag is uh, constructed is actually quite expandable. So uh, it makes it easier when you have to look for your items. You can open up the bag, kind of stretch out like that. Um, so it's quite flexible in space. The detail on the hardware, uh, you do see the logo kind of uh, engraved here uh, and even on the inside where you can see 
the underside of the uh, hardware loop there is a logo engraved as well so it just kind of incorporate the little logo design into all the details so it doesn't it makes the the bag overall uh, feel really luxe you do have the hang tag as well here that you can monogram uh, to personalize it with your initial or a coach motif okay so this is a smaller size take a look at the larger size so overall it's the same form um, you have the same type of buckle design very substantial and then finish off with pebble leather and instead of the seat is the horse and carriage so it just kind of adds that extra classic vibe to it when you open it up with the larger size you do get an extra back pocket here for easy access uh, maybe your transit card or your uh, phone for temporarily but it's actually a tight spot so you don't want to stretch out stretch the leather too much it is also lined with the uh, glove hands so it makes the cleaning easy on the inside um, you see the same detail on the hardware and then you get the extra zipper compartment and this one is lined with uh, the 1941 canvas which is quite nice so for those of you for those of you who have been a long time coach customer you know there is uh, the New York collection and the 1941 collection um, so one thing to tell is from the hang tag so even though the alley shoulder bag is uh, with the New York hang tag I would say the overall construction and the design detail even with the you know the canvas lining here that's usually uh, used on specifically 1941 pieces only I think the overall uh, vibe of this bag is actually more a 1941 piece than a New York collection piece okay so continue with the inside of the interior of the larger size you do have the car case pocket and the media pocket so one thing about the media pocket usually is quite tapered with this one you can see it uh, gives you a bit of space um, so if you need to put your phone which is thicker you don't have to worry about stretching the leather so quite generous and flexible and then you have of course the front compartment as well and as you can see it's quite expandable uh, you get three compartment inside here um, so that's kind of like the form of the alley shoulder bag now we also have this little back charm that's too cute to be true so is it also in the same silhouette as the alley shoulder bag uh, as you can see even the uh, buckle detail is you know the same finish off with leather finish and it's the same kind of push in uh, closure it's also lined with leather inside and you get oh just one compartment okay so but you do have the back pocket here uh, this is a back charm really cute so you can accessorize this on your backpack on your other handbag and even just like on a belt loop it will kind of make a small statement piece so it's like a mini version of the alley bag um, very nicely made a lot of details it's one of my favorite back charm for the season with the smaller size we also have this uh, turquoise color uh, if you prefer the other one is uh, beechwood and chalk so it's a color block it's a very nice uh, spring color option but the turquoise color is also quite nice and the hardware is black copper um, but the overall color is one solid turquoise uh, color I would say this is like a, maybe a seasonal color that we have for the spring uh, the inside is also lined with uh, the same colorway um, so quite nice and this is as you can see on the mannequin another way to wear the bag if you can uh, tie the knot make it shorter 
uh, you can carry it kind of almost like a handbag um, so you don't always have to wear it as a crossbody or shoulder bag for the larger size we have a color block uh, that's with the darker green kind of like a forest green color uh, color block with the turquoise and then with a little bit of surprise of the orange panel on the side um, this will be also I like the black for its kind of timeless and classic design uh, and form but um, the uh, color block of this option with a hint of orange on the side um, it's also a great option for brighter colorway options so you have quite a bit of color going on here the hang tag you have a little bit of ox blood you have the light turquoise you have the forest uh, even the bottom here is orange but the inside is also lined with glove tan and let's take a look at the inside color so it's the same uh, forest green inside pair nicely with the black copper hardware okay so the same details through and through this is also a nice piece so for the alley shoulder bag, I know a lot of you are interested in the uh, jacquard and snakeskin trim options. So we don't have these in the store right now. And as you look at the website, it will say it cannot ship to Canada. Um, but I still wanted to kind of go over it quickly, showing you some of the color options and the size option. Um, and then also posting some style number for your reference in case you need to look them up in the future uh, For the small size you have three different uh, color options and um, I think the navy is online exclusive For the larger size you only have one color options uh, But it looks like it also has some sway finish on the front flap so but everything else uh, the construction details are exactly the same as the uh, all leather option the main thing i think is again the buckle uh, has the exotic finish and of course you can also customize your alley shoulder bag uh, with tea roses or serenia pins so here are some of the design layout to consider um, but that's it for now uh, very timeless and relevant piece uh, i hope it, this video gives you some insight into the silhouette um, but thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.